So let's just go and compare to what I got, and let's, um, let's go and see where we uh, kind of differ from one another and see if we can find a mistake that I or somebody made. So I think we can all agree that u is equal to 1 minus x squared. We can all agree on that, right? And we can all feel pretty comfortable that du dx is equal to a negative 2x. Correct? And then if we want to solve for du, we could say du equals negative 2x dx. But we all know that we have an issue here. Because if we we're going to look at this function, we have an x, we have the dx, but we don't have a negative 2. Correct? Right? So if we want to solve, if we, we have the x and the dx, so we've got to get rid of this negative 2. So by dividing by negative 2 on both sides, I can say negative 1 half du equals x dx. So when I write this new equation, well with, in terms of u, I'm instead of having x dx, I'm going to replace that with negative 1 half to u. Well, since negative 1 half is a constant, I can pull that out of my integral. So I'm going to pull that out. And then this is, I have my x and dx is covered with my du. And then I'm going to have the square root of u du. Do you guys agree with me now? Everything has basically been covered. I haven't talked about the lower and upper bounds though yet. But everything else has been covered. Um, now let's go ahead and find the lower and upper bounds. So I'll just do u of 0. So I'm going to plug 0 into that function. So 1 minus 0 squared, which equals 1. And then u of negative 1 equals 1 minus negative 1 squared. So negative 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So just make sure you guys are using parentheses around that. Um, and just be hesitant when you're using your calculator, because your calculator, you still got to use parentheses, even when you're calculator. Because if you guys type in negative 1 squared, your calculator will give you negative 1. Okay? Um, it won't give you positive 1. So. So now, we're going to go ahead and integrate. So integrate to the 1 half. How did I already write that as far as I? So I'm doing the integration kind of separately. But everybody understands you could rewrite this as u to the 1 half, right? And if you're going to rewrite it as square root of u is equal to u to the 1 half. So remember, we add 1. So 1 half plus 2 over 2 would be 3 halves. Divide by 3 halves is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, which would be 2 thirds. Is everybody following with that? OK. So then I'm just going to leave the negative 1 half on the outside. And now let's just evaluate. So I have 2 thirds times 1 to the 3 halves minus 2 thirds times 0 to the 3 halves. Well, we love zeros because that's not going to be anything. And then this 1 to anything is just going to be 1. So you're left with negative 2 1 half times 2 thirds, which is equal to a negative 2 over 6, which is equal to a negative 1 third. 